Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the Windows Store Error 0x803FB107 that you're coming across on your Windows computer. So it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Just soft on the Start button one time. Type in WS Reset. Best match should come back with WS Reset here. You want to go ahead and just right click on that. And then left click on Run as Administrator. Give it a moment here. And then once you're in here, hopefully you're good to go. If you're still having an issue, if you want to close out of here, open up the start menu again, type in Windows PowerShell. Best match should go back to Windows PowerShell. You want to right click on that and then left click on Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. Now I'm going to have a command in the description of the video. I want you to copy it from my description. Go up to the top bar of the Windows PowerShell window here, right click on it. Left click on edit and left click on paste. And then you want to hit enter. Once that's done, close out of here. Restore your computer and hopefully that should be about it. Another thing you can try would be to go ahead and open up the start menu. Type in settings. Best match should go back with settings. Go ahead and left click on that. Select the apps tile. On the right side, underneath searches list, you want to click inside that field. Type in Microsoft Store. Best match should go back on Microsoft Store. Go ahead and left click on that. And then select Advanced Options. You want to scroll down here. Where it says Reset. If this app isn't working right, reset it. This app will be reinstalled and revert to its default settings. Your documents will not be affected. Left click on Reset. This will permanently delete the app's data on this device, including your preferences and sign-in details. Left click on Reset. Okay, so once you have the check mark, you can close out of here, restart your computer, and that should hopefully have been able to resolve your problem once you turn back on your computer and go into the Microsoft Store. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.